Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. It is Weight Loss Wednesday and today I wanted to share with you guys the eight things that I especially love about OMAD, which means eating one meal a day. Let me get right into it. I've done many different weight loss plans over the years. I kind of fell on this by accident. I've done intermittent fasting before, but I did it incorrectly. I thought if you had an eating window of four hours or eight hours or six hours that you could eat all the way through it. That wasn't the way it intended to be. You know, so if you have a four hour eating window, a lot of times you might eat two meals during that time. It isn't meant for snacking and noshing on food all day. So I do one meal a day. I generally eat between the hours of three to four. There are occasions that I may have two meals a day, but I really do enjoy doing the one meal a day. Now, as of today, it is Monday, July 8th. I started kind of dabbling with this on May 1st. So in May, I lost eight pounds. In June, I lost seven. So far this month, I've lost one. So, you know, because I've lost what they call water weight the first few months, I'm thinking that I may be losing about a pound a week, not fast weight loss, but as long as I'm consistent. So I'm going to share with you the things that I do enjoy about this and because I've done so many different things. Okay, the first is number one, I'm not doing low carb with this. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. If I was doing low carb one meal a day, I would be getting faster results but I'm not doing any food restriction because a lot of times in the past, so many people have said things to me, this is over the years, is that on your diet? How many times have you guys heard, is that on your diet? Are you supposed to be having that? That's unhealthy, that has sugar, that has too many carbs. You know, that's not something somebody your age should be eating. Okay, that's for the younger people. Have you guys ever had someone say that? So a lot of times, you know, I would kind of feel shame over desiring those foods. And when I'm told I can't do something or I quote, shouldn't have something that makes me want it more. So what I like is there's no food restriction. Nothing is off limits. And what's interesting is because I can have whatever I want. A lot of times I don't really desire all the delicious things I used to when I was told I couldn't have it. Okay. Number two, what I really like is there's no such thing as a little tiny portion. Now, many times if you're eating what I call in a calorie deficit, we're going to take a woman that wants to lose weight and say that she wants and she's eating, we'll say to lose weight, she's eating 1500 calories a day. Okay. You know, and 1500 calories might sound like a lot, but if you really start adding it up, it is not that much and it's very small portions. So if you took 1500 calories and we'll say split it up between three meals and two snacks, it's very, very small. What I do is take that amount of food, I'm not, and I'm not calorie counting, but around that, 15, 1700 calories, and I put it all together and eat it around over an hour and a half period. So what I like is you can eat enough to get you full, not overstuffed. So you're not supposed to overstuff yourself because you can still gain weight eating one meal a day. Okay, next, I don't even think about food because I'm getting enough food and what I'm really working on now is trying to get a balanced eating plan, you know, a little bit of dairy, a little bit of grain, you know, your produce, so your fruits and your vegetables, and also a little, some protein, kind of a little bit of everything. Do I hit that every day? No, but I am working on that. But I don't think about food because I eat enough to really satisfy me and then I go on with my day. The next number four, I am seeing results not as fast as I was when I was doing low carb because the weight did fall off faster, but I am still get, seeing results and I physically feel better. I'm able to move around. As a matter of fact, because I've been exercising six days a week, my right hip was bothering me a little bit. It felt tight and it was a little bit of pain when I was exercising. I no longer have that now that I've lost the weight. And I also um, am able to move a lot better. So I'm getting results. Number five, I don't have the cravings or the hunger because I eat enough to keep me satisfied. Number six, I'm having to listen to my body. There's times where I dish up myself all my food I'm going to eat. There's many times that I don't eat at all and I put something back. I really love when I do that. Like today, I thought, hey, I'm going to have 
a yogurt with some granola on top. I didn't end up having that because I already had enough to eat. So I wait and I listen to my body. If I'm still hungry, I can have something. But before I go back and dish up anything else, I really give it a good 20 minutes. And many times I don't dish up anything else. Okay, number seven, I have more time on my hands. I don't have to think about food. I just eat that once a day. And it actually has freed up a lot of time to do other things because all I was doing all day long before was eating. I ate, you know, like three meals a day and I was constantly snacking all the time. All I thought about was food because all I did was eat all day long and at night too. And also number eight, which is the best, if you allow yourself to have the foods that you really like and you're not restricting the food you're eating but you're making sure you're not overeating, it can be very frugal. So say you're on a budget and your family doesn't have a large amount of money for groceries. A lot of times one of the things that people do when they are saving money on groceries is they may eat more things like a pasta or rice or beans because those are less expensive items. So because of this, I am able to stay on a frugal grocery budget because nothing is off limits. The only thing that's off limits is eating outside my window, number one, and number two, overstuffing and overeating. If I notice that my, the scale starts to veer up or I'm not losing anything at all for you know several weeks, then I know that I need to eat a little bit less. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm not sure what six months from now is going to bring, but I'm really enjoying this because I don't have the hunger. I don't have the cravings. I'm able to eat my favorite foods in moderation, and I'm not labeling anything as a bad food or a good food. So I'm sure I'm going to make improvements along the way. Let me know in the comments below. If any of you are trying to lose weight, have any of you have ever done OMAD? Remember, I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor. I'm not giving any advice on what you should do. I'm just sharing what is working for me. And for any, somebody that asked this question, I did discuss this with my doctor and she was fine with me doing it as long as I ate a balanced eating plan and was getting something for everything that I wasn't eating, a lot of overly processed foods, and I was diversifying the foods I was eating, which I do need improvement on, but I'm a work in progress. So that's all I have to say for now. I love you, I appreciate you, and I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.